Putting something that size in a machine this size is a bit like the young girl on the penny farthing bicycle. It's uh, virgin on the ridiculous. G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Bit of a brisk autumn morning here in Bendigo, Victoria, Australia today. Um, I've got a fair bit of variety coming through the workshop today. Uh, I've had a few phone calls, people dropping stuff in. So I just thought I'd give you a bit of a look at what happens in the Hydro Blasters workshop on a typical day. Anyway, I'll... Uh, take the camera off the tripod and give you a look at what's here already and then we'll make a start and as the stuff drips, drip feeds in during the day I'll, uh, I'll give you a look at that as well. Okay first job on the books today I've got a motocross bike of some description here frame I think obviously a swing arm wrapped up in there couple of engine cases and uh, a housing so we'll have a look at this frame first it's left the foot pegs on it they're going to get blasted as well he's, he's either going to have to replace those or pull them off and paint them when he when i'm done because that'll knock any paint and coating off those um i'll go through this and plug up a few of these holes first before i stick it in the cabinet just to keep uh water and glass out of where it should be it's relatively clean which is a good uh good starting point for me so it's not going to take as long to do and uh, I've noticed, I don't know whether you can see down in there, you probably cannot, but the frame opens up in there. So I'm going to have to plug both ends of this to try and keep water out of there uh, before I start. So we'll, we'll start plugging it up and then we'll uh, blast it and give you a look at it. And there we have the frame plugged up, bolt in there, a bit of thread tape, another screw in another hole there. That's the only uh, access points to the inside of the frame. So we'll chuck that in the... Uh, Blasting cabinet now, and give it a wash. As you can see, frame fits in there, no problem, plenty of room. We might be tested for room a bit later today. I've got a aluminium sump coming from a six cylinder diesel truck. It'll be interesting to see whether it fits in there or not. Anyway, let's blast this thing. There we go, viewers, there's that frame. And for my regular viewers out there, you've probably heard me say a million times, the lighting probably doesn't do that justice. Well, I've got a bit of sunlight coming in the door today, so I thought I'd prop it there and give you a look at it uh, in daylight. How does that look? That looks like someone's hit that with a can of silver, bright, glossy silver paint. That's come up awesome. Customer will be wrapped with that. And while I was blasting that frame, look what showed up. That's that truck sump I was talking about. My God, that's about 1.2 metres long. It's going to be testing as to whether I can get that in the machine or not, but we'll give it a good go. All right, guys, we'll unwrap this swing arm now and uh, see what's in here. It looks like it's been wrapped up for a long time. Hopefully it's clean on the inside, but uh, let's get into it. There's a fair bit of glad wrap on this, cling wrap on this thing. Hopefully there was enough left for his kids' lunches. Well, there's the swing arm finally unwrapped. That's uh, as it has come off the bike. Be nice if uh, you're sending stuff, you, you remove some of that hardware. I'll pull that off, that's broken, but uh, I'll pull that off so it gets blasted properly. Got a sticker on there as well, I'll have to scrape that off. I'll probably give the thing a quick dry blast before I, uh, before I hydro blast it. Anyway, we'll pull those bits off it and seal up these, uh, these bearings so they don't get glass in them. As I said, ideally you'd remove those and, and replace them when you're putting them putting the swing arm back on the bike. But anyhow, let's go. 
Well, I've plugged those bearings up to stop any uh, glass and water getting in there, and I've been through and put a heap of screws in the holes uh, where water can get inside. The chain adjusters are still in this thing back here, so um, we'll leave them in there. Now we'll, we'll chuck it in the dry blaster and see if we can blast some of that grease and crap off it and some of that anodising before we... Uh, before we chuck it in the wet blaster. And there it is in the dry blaster. That goes in there for a pre-blasting blast. And there it is after a dry blast. That's got all the uh, plating and stuff off it and the sticker residue and everything. So uh, now it's time to make it shine. And there's a look at that swing arm out in the sunlight. Never fails to amaze me how sexy these things look once they've been done. We'll just flip that over and have a look. On the other side. There we go. Look at that. That's going to look cute. Anyway, we'll pop that back in on the table. Pop the hardware back on it and uh, get onto the engine pieces. Alright, it's time to do these engine cases. We'll, um, these have actually been blasted before, so uh, this should be a very easy job for me. I'll go through and pick out the uh, bits and pieces of grease and dirt that have been left from the last time that was done, and then I'll blast them, and uh, yeah, as I said, these should blast up nicely very quickly. That one there hasn't been done, so uh, get a good look at that, and remember what it looks like. And there we have the engine cases all cleaned up. They're looking very nice. That's a very clean set of cases. Very little damage to those at all. Uh, this job's come down from Mildura, which is about 400 kilometres from Bendigo, or to my special American friends, about 250 mile. Um, yeah, get work from far and wide here. That looks lovely. Anyway, we might have a crack at this uh, truck sump now. Jesus, there's that sump in the, in the booth. That's going to take some work. It's going to turn the old blaster into an old contortionist by the look of things. The sump itself has been acid cleaned, I believe, at some stage. Uh, it's, it is fairly clean, so it won't take too much blasting to get a nice finish on it. But it's just going to be that I'm going to have to pull it, here, uh, pull it out of there, put it back in, turn it round. Ugh. Yeah, a bit of work in that, but anyway, we'll give it a go. Putting something that size in a machine this size is a bit like the young girl on the penny farthing bicycle. It's uh, virgin on the ridiculous. And with something this size, it's all about uh, cleaning it a little bit at a time. I've just cleaned off this piece here. That's uh, coming up nice, uh, as opposed to up here where you've still got all this black and crap on it. But uh, yeah, as I said, a little bit at a time, I'll uh, I'll work on this bit next. Well, there's the bottom of the sump cleaned. As you can see up there, at the angle I'm shooting up that way, it's getting a bit of a pre-clean up there. But uh, yeah, we wouldn't want to go much uh, bigger than that. And that there, folks, is that sump, uh, truck sump. That's gonna be quite a nice uh, truck restoration when it's done, that one. I'm not going to bullshit you here, there was about two and a quarter hours work in that, so it's not a not an easy task blasting something that size and trying to get into all the all the corners and the nooks and crannies, but um, I think they'll be happy with that, that come up quite nice. And right here we've got a set of uh, carburetors off a, about a 72 CB 750 Honda in pieces, that's the way we want to do them, so we'll uh, make a start on those. Now I don't know whether we'll get them finished today, but... Um, We'll have a bit of a go. Well, I've just cleaned one of the Honda 750 carbs. That's the one there I've cleaned for all you smarties out there and blind freddies. And I've done the bowl as well. That one I haven't cleaned. Look at that. And just like that, the day's got away from me. We've had people coming and going all day. Customer that owns these uh, Honda carbs came around, brought some more bits around that he'd forgotten about, so we'll uh, include those with his job lot. And I've also had a customer coming today. He's just dropped in a transmission housing that's uh, going to be rebuilt. 
He really builds uh, transmissions for race cars and show cars. This one's going in a show car, so it has to be spotless. That won't be a problem. That's what we do here, we do spotless. And here's an Escort rim. I've got another three of those coming tomorrow. Uh, customers getting the rest of them done. He's seen that and said, yep, we'll go ahead with that. And a uh, little Lancey, a manifold that I did yesterday, did the carbies for it there a couple of weeks ago. But anyway, folks, that's what the blaster does when, uh, when he's not making YouTube videos. So I hope you enjoyed what you saw today. And if you did, make sure you hit the like button. Don't forget to tell all your friends to bring, this, bring their stuff to me, Benny uh, Hydroblasting. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. Anyhow, uh, until next time, thanks for watching. Take care, y'all.